Well said, today I'm going to be showing my comments and criticisms on this book here. Uh, when Rocks Cry Out by Horace Butler. It's a very fascinating book. It's quite controversial. Um, very few uh, academic people, established academic people, are willing to support what he says. Um, part of the knowledge filter in science. Anyway, the book is basically about ancient civilization, Egyptian civilization, and um, his theory, his hypothesis that ancient Egypt existed in South America. And a lot of these Aztecs and Incas and Mayan people um, and their cities are actually part of ancient Egypt. And that would include even then these ancient names we're familiar with like um, Jerusalem or Libya or uh, Memphis, uh, city of, um, capital city of Egypt. So, uh, some evidence he gives for this is uh, the similar names you can find, uh, give or take a letter or two, between the South American capital cities and these mythical or these historical records of Egyptian cities, which most people would say are in Egypt. But the fact is that a lot of those things, when you try and when you take what the historical records say about those cities and try and place them in those Middle Eastern places, those African places, it doesn't make sense. And what he's pointing out is that if you apply them to these other cities, which are known to us to be Aztec or Inca or Maine, these are known to us not as Egyptian, but they are known to us, um, then it makes a lot more sense and there's less incongruities. Um, for example, capital city uh, Memphis, surrounded by lakes right okay well and there's nothing like that in egypt but there is in um south america you could look at um various linguistic things and i think this is perhaps an iffy part where he uses the these linguistic connections like two similar words which have one or two different letters and he says that must mean the same place i think that could be possible but not always but the fact is, when you look at how much evidence he provides for various things in the book, he's certainly not wrong about all of them. Um, and the traditional academic story we've been told um, is certainly wrong a lot of the time. For example, if you ask uh, Egyptologists, uh, what uh, is a pyramid for? Okay, these Egyptian people built these massive pyramids for what? To bury one or two pharaohs inside them? Uh, no. <laughs> you have, people haven't even found any mummies or dead pharaohs in any pyramids. Except for the one or two specific pyramids which were built specifically for that. Talking about Giza and shit and all those pyramids. You won't find it. So, um... Wait, I'm not going to tell you what the whole fucking book says. If you want to know what it says, read the book. I will say that I would give it maybe a 7 out of 10. Um... I'm not sure whether I believe his whole theory or not. It does really sound really far-fetched. But I know that what we've traditionally been told about a lot of these things are wrong also. So I would say definitely if you're thinking about buying this book, get it. Um, even if I was thoroughly opposed to everything that was said in this book, I would still probably be entertained and enthralled um, by what he says uh, because of the way that he writes it in a somewhat novelistic way. Um, there you go.